the heart of a fan. in St. Louis it's time for Cardinals baseball and speaking of hot two red hot teams in the National League collide in game one of a four game set both the Cardinals and Dodgers have won eight of their last ten and something's got to give in game one tonight. Hi again friends Chip Carey Brad Thompson here we go partner Cardinals and Dodgers second round matchup things didn't go well out west but it's a different looking Cardinal team here tonight. It certainly is especially a different looking offense for the Redbirds last time out against the Dodgers they scored a grand total of six runs in L.A. Well look at these numbers since May 1st fourth in average second in runs per game second with 26 homers that OPS is up there these Redbirds are swinging it right now. So let's look inside the numbers a little deeper our Budweiser on tap what's up with both the cards and Dodgers over the last 10. Well you laid it out there these are two of the hottest teams in baseball right now and they are clashing like I said the offense has been great for the Cardinals they're going to need it right now because the pitching has been outstanding specifically the starters for the Dodgers. The Cardinals have won three straight series they've won three straight series opener Adam Wainwright tries to make it four in a row and when we come back Alexa Dat will break it all down for us as we get you set from St. Louis for the Cardinals and Dodgers tonight. against the L.A. Dodgers when they were out west. It was a different story. The Cardinals got swept, only scored six runs in the series, but since then they are 8-2, and two, scoring nearly seven runs a game. The offense has come alive. Starting pitching has been huge as well as they welcomed back Adam Wainwright. Now he is making his third start of the season. He's going to have Contreras as his catcher, which will be a first for Wayno so far this year. Also, Wayno has had so much success against the Dodgers in his career. In the regular season, he got 16 starts against them, a sub-3 ERA. Cardinals are 9-7 and seven in those starts. And his old manager, Mike Matheny, throwing out the first pitch to Willie McGee. 57-mile-per-hour fastball. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'd say that's a strike. I'll give it to him, Fred Bird. Stay with us. Hitting for the natural cycle, just one of 15 players in the history of the game to single, double, triple, triple, and homer in order in the same game. Pretty impressive. From past to present, Freddie Freeman and Paul Goldschmidt, two of the top first basemen in the game today. Chip and Brad have more on them next. Stay with us right here on Valley Sports. you by BJC Healthcare. You deserve extraordinary care. And by Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in the St. Louis area. Find yours at your mid-America Chevy dealer. The Cardinals and Dodgers are red hot. This series features two of the best first basemen in the game, and they square off tonight, Brad. You got a young first baseman watching tonight. Watch these two guys. Freddie Freeman just goes out there. He does everything right defensively, offensively. You look at the numbers. Home runs, great with two strikes. He covers a little bit of everything but we've seen this man Paul Goldschmidt ever since he's come over here with the birds on the bat he's been one of the best in the league the reigning MVP in the National League these two guys looking to put on a show in this series it's going to be a great weekend and we'll get things started tonight Adam Wainwright Julio Urias for the Dodgers game one Cardinals and Dodgers lineups and first pitch are coming your way after the break. Fans going crazy here at Wrigley. It's long gone for Gorman. Ball gets away, streaking home and scoring, and the Cardinals get a huge break. Nolan Arenado with the homer, making five in a row. Strike three. Season high, 10 strikeouts for Jack Flaherty. Kistner's hit a grand slam. Breaking ball throws him. Track wall, she is gone. 
That's a fun week and a half, and hopefully the good times will continue in St. Louis as we kick off a big weekend. The Cardinals celebrating their 2013 National League pennant. The series starts on Thursday night. 79 degrees, no wind, low humidity, perfect weather for the Redbirds to keep up their great play. Brad Thompson, Jim Haynes joins me, Chip Carey, here at Bush Stadium, where a big crowd is packed in for Adam Wainwright, who looks to pick up his first victory of the year tonight. Yeah, Chip, this has been more like it. We're starting to see the Cardinals play the kind of baseball they want to play. The starting pitching, last turnaround has been very good. The offense, talking about it pregame, boy, have they been good. The home runs have been there. And all of a sudden, you're starting to see the team that they expected to be in the beginning of the year. Yeah, Dave Roberts and the Dodgers, best record in the National League. But I think we would agree, Brad, this is a different-looking Cardinal team, and it's a different Cardinal team in the way it feels about itself than when we saw Los Angeles out west. Certainly expect this to be a much different series than we saw at Chavez Ravine when the Cardinals were only able to score six runs. Just was not clicking. Nothing was clicking on that West Coast trip. Everybody remembers it. The Cardinals go two and eight on that one. Their season was at an all-time low. Well, they're picking things back up here. They're eight and two in their last ten. And Adam Wainwright out here making his third start of the year, looking for his first victory. He's had terrific luck against the Dodgers in regular season play, and especially so here at Bush Stadium. And as you see, his Hyundai pitch arsenal, hopefully all of those, Brad, will be on point tonight. For sure. He's going to sink it. You know Uncle Charlie's there for him whenever he wants. He uses that cutter a lot to the lefties every once in a while to change up the four seam. But for Adam Wainwright, it's about him setting up hitters and watching him just pitch. I just love the art when he's out there. The Dodgers start play tonight, 28 and 16. They're 11 and 9 on the road. Dave Roberts and the Dodgers just wrapped up a series with the Twins. As Dave said to us before the game, the Dodgers are winning games, but they're not playing at peak efficiency in really any facet of their game. We'll see if that holds true tonight. And look, if you have Betts, Freeman, Smith, and Muncie one through four in your lineup, that covers up a lot of what are seen to be as glaring issues for Los Angeles. Yeah, I don't know if that's good news or terrifying news when you look at it with the Dodgers, but either way, it's going to be a tough task here for the Redbirds. Defensively for Ali Marmel. That's presented by Dobbs Tire and Auto Centers. Mercado gets the start for the Redbirds in left. Ali gave us a good reason as to why that lineup changes. Well, right. look, Adam Wainwright has been in the air a little bit more this year. Mercado can go get it in the outfield. Wanted to put out there as much of a versatile outfield as they can. Wanted to give Mercado a chance here. So let's see what the Cardinals have in store for us tonight. The Birds start play at 18 and 26 on the year. They have won three straight series. They have won three straight series openers. And we hope to make it four in a row tonight. Mookie Betts leads off, and Adams' first pitch is right there for a strike, says Jeremy Rehack, the home plate umpire. Nine homers, 25 RBIs for Betts, who's hitting 250. And maybe what Dave Roberts was talking about involves Mookie Betts. Very severe home road offensive splits. Yeah, he has struggled on the road. 182 is the average for Mookie on the road. Something that he's looking to change. Popped up back toward us, but there'll be no play. And we right ahead. One ball and two strikes. A severe difference. He's popped some home runs. He's driven in some runs, but just not getting on base, not churning things for this offense on the road yet. As you mentioned, Dodgers still figuring out ways to win games. They come in with 28 victories, tops in the NL. New baseball for Wainwright, and the 1 2. He has bounced up there, two balls and two strikes. Mookie Betts can do it all. He can play shortstop, he can play right field. He's an excellent defender. He's a terrific leadoff hitter. He hits for power and average. Truly a superstar. Pretty good bowler as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. Gonna throw that in. Multiple 300 games to his name. No, and he's danger off the top. Three leadoff homers this year, 39 in his career. Rifle toward left. That ball is going to get down and bounce off the 375 side. And Mookie Betts with a laser starts the game for the Dodgers. It's a leadoff double. Well, Wayno trying to go down and away with the sinker, misses belt high middle. You're not going to be able to sneak that by Mookie Betts. Jumps all over it at the top of the zone. We talked about how dangerous he is off the top. Well, this is what he does. 
Adams got the two strike bug for the Cardinals on the mound opponents hitting 318 against him and now he faces Freddie Freeman the Dodger first baseman he was pushed off the plate one ball no strikes Freeman riding a seven game hit streak nine RBIs in that stretch and as you know Freddie loves Bush a great hitter in this ballpark and there was a short hop shot to short the peg to first is up the line and Goldie with a great dive gets the out young looked like he was shielded by Betts there kind of an in between play at shortstop and then with the speed of Freeman hurried his throw but gets the first out of the inning this is a really good play on both sides first of all that ball checked up Paul made a good throw in and look Goldie is as good as they get around the bag at doing just that somehow keeping a toe on the base while still making the play. So no advance of the runner Will Smith the catcher. He's reached base in 16 straight. This guy's a good hitter. At 330 for the season seven homers 22 driven in. Smith spent some time on the injured list missed 13 games due to concussion protocols for the Dodgers and we saw him when he just came back off of that concussion protocol DH the first couple of games against the Cardinals but has done nothing but hit since backed away from a breaking ball that didn't move it's an even count five career games for this man in St. Louis at this ballpark nine hits including two homers so keep an eye on Will Smith that's a leadoff double at second with one out and poked foul into the big crowd it's a ball and two strikes. Crowd still filing in on a beautiful Thursday night. Check of the runner. And up and in, two balls, two strikes. Like the idea there from Adam Wainwright, though, sticking with the fastball. Will Smith is one of those guys hitting 256 against the heater coming in. He's hitting 379 against everything else. Two two breaking ball fought off for Smith the Dodgers took two out of three from the twins and tonight start their longest and a real brutal road trip they've got four in St. Louis three in Atlanta and finish up with three at Tampa Bay that is a rocky one that'll test you even if you're the best team in the NL right now that's a big test pitch 13 of the inning for Wainwright. And if we have a clock violation, apparently so. Adam took too long. It'll be a full count. You're not aware of how the umpire knows that. He's not looking at the clock. There's a buzzer on the back of his belt. And if he feels that buzzer go off, then time has expired. So a 3 2 pitch. Low to Smith, two on, one out. Max Muncy coming up. So a busy start for Adam Wainwright. What are the Toyota keys for the Cardinals to win for, tonight? For me, it's act as if you can look at the records of these two teams and say, well, we know who should win this one. Dodgers coming in with 28 wins, but the Cardinals are playing great baseball right now, and I believe that they have a confidence. They need to act as if they are the big dogs in this series. And act accordingly. They're playing really good baseball in every single facet. Now, look, Adam Wainwright needs to get out of this inning. You go in to hit, but they need to act as if they are the team that everybody's hunting down. You'd love a double play ball, but Muncy's a guy that has a huge launch angle swing. Tough to double him up. In uh, fact, the Dodgers have hit into only 16 double plays that's the lowest total in the big leagues. Yeah you couple that with the fact that Adam Wainwright has just not been getting the ball on the ground this year that's going to be a difficult thing to be able to pull off here. Max Muncy is a tough out. 
This guy's hit 158 homers in the major leagues, 153 of them with the Dodgers. He was an Oakland A, and he has rebuilt his swing and his career since putting on Dodger blue. A pretty unique combination, isn't it? A guy that draws as many walks as he does, hits as many homers as he does, and just a very, very tough guy. You know, 3 1, you can't just lay him in a heater, or this game's going to be 3 0. So a three ball, one strike pitch. Here it is. Center cut, but fouled away. Yeah, that was a pitch right there from Adam Wainwright. It was that cutter that he likes to really run in on the hands of those lefties, just backed up on a very dangerous spot. Fortunate to have that one fouled off. So let's see if the Dodgers run here with a full count. Two on, one away. They don't, and the bases are loaded. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Betts doubled on a 2-2 pitch. Freeman grounded out. Smith and Muncy have walked there at second and first. And now Los Angeles with a chance to put up the first run with J.D. Martinez in the box. Martinez a well-traveled player but a great hitter. And takes upstairs. Ball one. Lower back tightness sideline JD for the early part of the season. And the pitch is hammered toward right center field. That ball is going to get down and bounce off the warning track. Two runs are going to score. Muncie on his way to third. He's going to stop there. And JD Martinez doubles home two, and the Dodgers strike first. Another cutter from Adam that misses center might be a pitch he might want to pocket for a minute he's not putting this thing where he wants to ends up middle middle he drives it the other way into the gap and brings in a couple. So the Dodgers have given Julio Urias a two nothing lead he's yet to throw a pitch and Dusty Blake is on his way to the hill to try to give Adam a breather here and maybe. Find something that catches a corner. Two doubles, two walks, and two first inning runs. When this, when the Cardinals were going through a lot of their struggles, man, this first inning had been a real bear for them uh, of just laborious innings, pitch counts that were up very high. That's why it was so nice watching Matthew Libertor last night. Libby had a really quick first inning, a very efficient outing, good outing for him, five scoreless. It ended up being for him and Adam Wainwright looking to just stop the bleeding here and hand it over to this offense that has been so good here as of late. Cardinals actually have a plus 10 run differential in the first inning entering play tonight. That's now at plus eight as Miguel Vargas is the hitter. And it missed outside. No chase from Vargas. He too riding a four game hit streak. Yeah, the Dodgers have won eight of ten just like the Cardinals. And right now Adam doesn't have a pitch to go to. Take that right there sinker in at 87 just paints the corner again velocity is not everything location is what plays unfortunately it's been location that has hurt him so far in this inning. And this Dodger team just does not chase we saw that out west you have to command the strike zone against this club. Yeah they do a really nice job of that but then when you do put one in there there's no timid swings they let it rip. On the ground toward third and the peg to first is off target but a nice tippy toe by Goldschmidt 
That gets Vargas no further advance. Nice play by Nolan Gorman. Almost got Muncie wandering off the bat. Yeah, good idea by Gorman. Your momentum is taking you that way anyhow. You might as well check on him there, see if you can get him. Goldie gets him twice there. Had the foot on the bag, but had the tag there just in case. So you're down two. You've got James Outman coming up. This kid put on a show out west. And hits this one in the air to right on the first pitch. But Edmund is there, and all in all, that was good work by Wainwright to limit the damage after the meeting on the mound. Dodgers lead 2-0. Here come the birds in the first. Dave Roberts and the Dodgers enjoy a 2 0 lead after their first turn to the plate. Now it's time for the Cardinals to answer. Newt Bar Goldschmidt, Contreras third, Arenado the DH for Ali Marmel. Tommy Evans starting again in right. He's swinging a hot bat. And hopefully, Brad, that continues against Julio Urias, who's making his first career start against the Cardinals. Yeah, Urias, as we know, he is a stud. He's very good, mixes it up really well. But we also know that this Cardinals offense. Can get things going early and often. The Hyundai pitch arsenal here for Arias. Got the four seam fastball, the slurve, that slider curve change, also a change up and a cutter. And if you're going to get to him, get to him early. Nine of the 22 runs he's given up have been in the first. Look at that ball bent in for a strike. This kid was a 20 game winner a couple of years ago. 117 last year, didn't throw a single wild pitch. How about that? And a free agent to be at season's end. Another strike for Newt Barr. Wits left as well. Once you time that up, though, that's a pitch that can be hit. That slurve right there. Arias, for as good as he is, he's given up a bunch of home runs. Ten homers leads the league. And he, too, another Dodger with really crazy home road splits. At home, a 199 ERA. Away from Dodger Stadium, 6-10. Yeah, opponents on the road hitting 3-10 against him. So did Barr. Back even in the count, two balls, two strikes. Popped up left side. Muncie and Rojas. And there's your first out. Newt Barr is retired. And one man down. A look at the Dodger defense presented by Dobbs Tire and Auto Centers. Gold Glover Freddie Freeman anchors the infield at first. Muncie Rojas and Vargas ring the infield. Will Smith as good as they get behind the plate. Of course, keep an eye on Mookie Betts in right field. Here's Goldie. Driven out of play foul. Lots of head to head work for Goldschmidt and Arenado against Urias. You'd expect that from their days in the National League West. No balls at a strike. And now 0 and 2 in the crowd of 37,000 or so tonight. Here's our stats with Lowe's. Here are your career rankings among active players against the Dodgers. Well, you gotta love seeing that. These guys, I mean, we see it pop up anytime you see a team in the West. These two guys have dominated them. Let's hope that trend continues. One ball, two strikes. Right back where it came from. It deflects off the pitcher. Freeman is to the bag, and he'll make the play for out number two. Kick save and a beauty for Urias. Tough break for Goldschmidt. That might have made its way to center field, but it's out number two. Looks like Urias made no effort at all to get out of the way of this one. Just standing there, catches him right off the shin, it looks like. That's one to keep an eye on here as this game goes on. It looked like he was totally fine. He's walking around well, but. One of those can swell up on you pretty quickly. 
So he's back atop his perch as Wilson Contreras steps in. He's batting 252 on the year. Nine pitches to get two outs for the Dodger lefty, and there's number 10 for a strike. It's a long inning after Wainwright threw 27 pitches in the first. They sure love to be able to give him a little bit more of a breather here, get something going. You're going to see a lot of that too against Contreras. Contreras has been struggling against anything up in the zone, hitting 103 against pitches that are elevated. I expect to see Urias go right back up there. Did not ended up going with that cutter, trying to go in on the hands. So another 0 2 pitch. Back our way. Wilson making him work a bit here. That's good to see. One ball, two strikes. Well, Contreras has been really tough in these counts. He's been battling with two strikes. He's done a really good job, too, of, of in these counts driving the ball to the right side. But it's not to be there as Urias strikes him out and completes a 1 2 3 first. Los Angeles strikes for two in the opening inning, and we head the second. Suit up this season at MLBShop.com. Check out the largest selection of authentic caps, t shirts, collectibles, and more. Gear up with your Cardinals at MLBShop.com. All right, Adam, new game. You've got the bottom part of the order here in the second. It's a 2 0 score. Let's see if he's a little sharper. That's a good indication. Keep it there, you'll have better luck. It's exactly where you want to see him. I don't care if it's 86, 87, 88, 95. Down in the zone is where he needs to live. He starts with David Peralta, who's hit two homers and is knocked in 16. Peralta's a guy, too, struggled against the fastball, especially right handed fastballs, only hitting 137. Swung through that and behind in the count. Peralta, Rojas, and Mookie Betts for Los Angeles. Trying to get that to come back, but didn't get the call. It's two and two. That is going to make him very effective in this game if he can do that. The second pitch to him, threw him a nice cutter in. And then if you can sink it away. Had him off stride with a breaking ball, and Peralta skies that to center. And there is your first out, and Rojas is coming up. Let's check in for the first time with the cat, Jim Hayes. Matthew Libertor was outstanding last night. First thing he did after coming out was plop down in the dugout next to Wayno. Libertor told me Wayno has always been there for me. He was the first guy to introduce himself at my first spring training, and he's the first guy to greet me each time I'm called up. Chip Libertor told me he calms me down, he talks me through situations, and he makes me feel like I belong. That's kind of what Jim does for us, Brad, right? It really does. Before every game, actually during. Every once in a while, we'll have a rocky inning. You know, things go awry. He comes and just puts a hand on our shoulders, and it just feels right. And, Jim, you know what he did today? In our pregame meeting that we have daily with Oliver Marmol, Jim was so generous, he brought snacks for everybody. Thoughtful. Muffins, mini muffins. Do you know the muffin man? Fly ball right center. New bar on the run. Still going, still going, still going. Collision. And the catch. Who got it? Edmund. 
Bryant makes the grab at the base of the wall. The glasses go flying. The bodies go flying. But the ball is in the mid. Two outs. Two guys that can cover a lot of ground converging on this baseball off the bat of the right-hander. It's going to continue trailing to the right. Tommy's got a beat on it. Great to see them both come up unscathed from this one. I think they're both calling it late and both going after this baseball hard. Nice play, though, there by Tommy Edmond to, first of all, get there and then keep a handle on it. So there's your second out. And Mookie bets the hitter. Wainwright took a stroll around the mound for a moment, maybe giving his outfielders a chance to gather themselves after a scare. And Bets with a double scored the first Los Angeles run. That was not a soft collision. No, that's one you're going to feel something at some point. You see both of them kind of stretching out a little bit, moving out there in the outfield. And that ball was curling toward right field. I don't know if Newt was calling for it. If he was, obviously Edmund didn't hear him. Yeah, it looked like he was, but very late as they were both converging on it. You know, that man will talk to Newt Barr and Edmund when this half inning ends. Oh. Touch high, I guess. Three balls and a strike. It's just one of those balls, too. I mean, it's in the gap. It's right there on the track. By no means a routine play. So it's not as clear cut as, hey, center field priority. That ball's tailing back to Edmund. To short. Long throw. And Wainwright recovers with a 1 2 3 second inning. Nolan Arenado gets it started for the Cardinals, who trail 2 0. Dodgers lead tonight 2 0, Brad, but all is not rosy for them. As you see on our BJC Healthcare Injury Report, a big part of their rotation had to leave the game early against the Minnesota Twins. Yeah, disappointing news for the Dodgers, for baseball fans. Dustin May is one of those guys you want to watch. He had been dominating through his nine starts, but they're going to have to try to figure out somehow, some way to overcome his loss. You got a talented rotation with Kershaw, Urias, Gonsolin. Syndergaard in there as well, but they're going to have to figure out that fifth spot. Nolan Arenado leads off for the Cardinals. Very nearly homered in his sixth straight game last night. About a foot shy down the left field line. But Nolan with his 1,000th RBI in the big leagues has driven home a run now in 10 of the last 11 games. And not surprisingly, Brad, the Cardinals are eight and two in that stretch. Yeah, it's amazing how that works, right? Your best players start playing their best baseball and things start falling into line. That's what's happening here with Nolan Arenado and the Cardinals. Well, we told them to dress warm when they come to St. Louis, but that's taking it to the extreme, would you say? Oh, well, we told them three weeks ago. You could check <laughs> the weather again if you wanted to. But look, fashion knows no weather. Those things look good. You know what else looks good? A leadoff walk in a two run game, and Arenado earns that. And that's how the home second starts with a red hot Tommy Edmond coming to the plate. Hopefully, no effect after that collision for him at the plate. For sure. Tommy had himself a series, too, against the Brewers. Eight for 12, and he crushes lefties. 333. He's got a 997 OPS against left handed pitching. All the good work Urias has done this year. He has had trouble with runners on base and especially with runners in scoring position. Let's see if the Cardinals can get one here and get back into this game. They trailed 2 nothing. Edmund with six home runs. And takes that downstairs. And really if you think about it these two offenses are styled very similarly right. They want to command the strike zone force the pitcher out of the strike zone and then when he has to come in. Hit it hard. 
The Dodgers did that in their two run first. Squib slowly towards short. One there and not in time to first. Rojas a nice play to take care of Arenado himself. There's the first out of the inning. And Nolan Gorman gets a chance to hit another opportunity Brad for this hot hitter to go lefty versus lefty. Well and uh, look at it was something that they had been reluctant to do but as well as he has been swinging the bat you want to give him more and more opportunities to get this done that slurve that he's got and the slider from Urias is going to be that tough challenge. Can he stay on it. Can he shoot it the other way. Gorman during his eight game hitting streak three doubles three homers 10 RBIs and a 400 batting average he has done some damage stayed in there but fouled it straight back one ball one strike he just looks so incredibly comfortable up there in the box and when you're putting up the numbers that he is right now the 33 RBI that's third now in the National League I think that you're you're doing something right but he's recognizing all pitches using the entire field LA gives him the third base line Muncie way off the bag there he is just missed one of that pitch two balls and a strike he's got 30 feet to play with the other way Line and a base hit. Almost a collision with the umpire at second. First it was Bruce Dreckman in the last series. Now it's Paul Emmel. And Gorman has a base hit. The Cardinals have two on. You use what the defense and then the umpire screening <laughs> the defense will give you. This time the sinking liner right there. Emil does screen it pretty darn well in front of him there. Rojas at shortstop. But Cardinals got something shaken. Two on with one out. That was Gorman's first hit of the year against a left-handed pitcher. And his streak lives on. It's now a nine-game hit streak for Paul DeYoung. Who digs in and got tied up and took it for ball one. Big blow in the game last night came from this man, Paul DeYoung, a two run homer off Corbin Burns, and that was the final blow in a three nothing shutout over Milwaukee. And I think the Cardinals want to check on Tommy Edmond. They must have seen him stretching and moving around the bag again had the collision with Lars Newpar last half inning. I'm sure they talked about was he feeling anything before he even went up to bat and they've been keeping a close eye on him. The Cardinals bench tonight Tres Pereira Alec Burleson Juan Yepes and Andrew Kisner. And Edmund says he's good enough to continue remember Dylan Carlson was placed on the injured list yesterday his ankle necessitates a 10 day stay there Cardinals have done a good job on this homestand 13 hits with runners in scoring position another one here from to young could put the Cardinals on the board broken bat little pop and Urias will make the play sawed him right off. And a pop up to the pitcher is the innings second out. Well, it's the slur from Urias. You see it up, your eyes light up, you think you're going to drive it, and then it just ends up right on the hands of Paul DeYoung for the soft little pop up back to the pitcher. So another lefty lefty matchup, this time Brendan Donovan. Always feel good with this guy up against the lefty. Donovan looking more and more like himself in recent days for the Cardinals. Seeing a lot of pitches. Oh, he can hit the ball the other way and has been very effective with two outs. Take it outside. 
A ball into strike. Oscar Mercado is waiting on deck. He's the ninth place hitter and Cardinals left fielder. Swing fly ball will hit left center. That ball is deep. That ball's on the track, but tracked down by Peralta, who makes a terrific running catch. Good approach by Donovan. The park big enough to hold it, and the Dodgers maintain their two run lead. After Adam Wainwright got the Dodgers in order in a one two three second he begins his second trip through the order with more on that it's time for our AT and T fiber fast pitch. Well second time through and after the first time through 520 is the opponent average of 1479 OPS but let's remember pretty small sample size in two starts and we saw Adam Wainwright last inning look a lot sharper than he did in the first. Time to turn the page from those numbers too. No doubt. He'll start with Freddie Freeman who grounded out his first time. Swing fly ball center. New bar on the run. He's going to get there just shy of the track. Freeman hits it hard and is retired for out number one. Will Smith walked and scored the second L.A. run. This guy's awfully important for the Dodgers hopes in the National League West all they've done is go 20 and 6 when he's in the starting lineup. Playing in game number 27 because of that trip to the I.L. There's a good located pitch. Or as my English teacher Mrs. Long would have said Chip that's a well located pitch. But you get the drift one one on the ground to short right at DeYoung bobbles that and Smith gets a gift he'll reach with one out. Just one that looks like it catches Paul up on the heel of the glove been so sure handed here at shortstop and that just one takes the that hop late can't corral it. Wayno could use another ground ball here off the bat of Muncie, but as we talked about before, not too many ground balls coming off of his bat. So Smith aboard after the error, Muncie walked. And drives that one out of play to the left. It's strike one. Yeah, errors are something right now, too. Cardinals just can't afford to do it. You know, Adam Wainwright gets one on the ground. Those are going to have to be out. It's got to figure out a way to get past that one, but play clean from here on out. There's a better breaking ball. It's 0 and 2. That's really the key for Adam, is it not? He's got to get the ball down, get ground ball outs. So far tonight, three of them. He would have had four had the error not occurred. And in talking with Ollie, that's. Again, with a small sample size, Adam's not where he wants to be as far as that ground ball ratio yet. No, ground ball rate is about 9-10% down from where it was a year ago. So they'd love to be able to see him use that sinker a little bit more, get some balls on the ground, use that defense. Adam, throughout this ball game so far, Looks to be relying more on that cutter than he is his sinker. I think that's something that might change here throughout the game. Breaking ball lifted toward left, and Mercado has his first chance and back pedals on the warning track. Muncy's retired, one aboard, and two out. JD Martinez, the hitter, but first a word from Tickets for Less. Tickets for less for a better ticketing experience. Best seats, best prices, and no surprises at checkout.
This is your RBI man in the game Martinez with a two run double in the first. Let me go right back to that pitch too. Be throwing that sinker in on him. A lot of room inside the JD Martinez. The pitch that he hit was a cutter that Adam was trying to go away, ended up center cut belt high. Looking more like himself these last two innings. Well, that one right there, breaking ball, catches the inside corner. Now you have options. He has the option to go in off the plate with that fastball or a ball or bounce a couple of breaking balls. DeYoung leaps and times it perfectly. Martinez is retired. Bueno pitches around the E6, and Mercado leads off down two. On Sunday, we'll wrap up this series with the Dodgers and 25,000 fans, 16 and up, take home a Cardinals golf umbrella. This green umbrella features iconic Cardinals Hall of Famers. For tickets and info, visit cardinals.com slash promotions. That Sunday pitching matchup, Jack Flaherty and Clayton Kershaw. That'll be a treat. Oscar Mercado is getting ready to lead off. Had some folks standing on the sidewalk above the Berman Center. So a momentary pause. Now we're ready to go. Line, welcome to St. Louis, Oscar. There's a start. Tying run comes to the plate and the top of the order, Lars Nutbar. A nice way to do it. Jump on the first thing he sees. Drafted by the Cardinals in the second round in 2013. Made his debut with Cleveland, but finally comes back full circle here in 2023 and takes advantage of his first time at play. So let's see what St. Louis can do with Urias the second time through the order. Cardinals threatened, but couldn't score in the second. And a big bender in for a strike. Bottom of the zone for Newt Bar. Newt popped up his first time up. Let's check out our Kia player profile and the job Lars has done hitting first. Well, pretty comfortable there at the leadoff spot. The fourth best on base percentage here in all of baseball works counts but has popped too. you leave something up watch out he's gonna put a rip on it like that that was 94 it was center cut Arias with good deception got it by for strike two I think you bring up a great point too with Urias and his deception because when you look at the stuff it's not necessarily overpowering he's got the slurvy breaking ball fastball really is 92 to 94 but the way that he hides the ball he also alters his delivery at times he'll hang up there in his balance position a little bit more he'll drop down sidearm do a lot of different things up there but he's very comfortable doing those things for a lot of guys a lot of guys can't do that can't alter their delivery at all. Good take. This is what Duke Bar does, and it's a full count. Duke Bar's walked 25 times. Mercado, a good lead at first. The pitch is fouled off the net. Warm night in St. Louis. 
Murray is pushing toward 40 pitches. He'll throw a seventh to Lars Newtbar. Breaking ball had him off stride. Center of the diamond, Freddie Freeman. In front of the pitcher's mound is there and puts that away for out number one. And here's Goldschmidt. Look at that rocket that Urias kicked to Freddie Freeman. A 1 3 put out in the opening inning. That ball was hit 97 miles an hour off the leg. Yeah, Urias no worse for wear, at least to this point from that one. There's a strike. If that had been Jake's leg, Brad, we would have had a lot of problems. Well, which leg? You know, that's the thing, because yeah. Jake's one. leg will be playing soon. And one of them is dead. One of the legs. The members are all fine. One ball, one strike. Well, we'll find out for sure tomorrow night. When Jake's leg performs here at the ballpark, the pitch. Top of the zone, it's one and two. Goldie has a lot of room with Freeman holding Mercado, but Goldie down to his last strike. That was close. Two and two. Goldie does have no problem with two strikes, just protecting. He'll shoot a ground ball through that right side, but Urias will try to pitch him in there. So Paul now with a 2 2 count, 2 0 Dodgers, both runs in the first inning. Runner goes, good jump. Smith's throw quickly, and they got it. Mercado says he got the hand in, but he's rung up at second base. Safer out, you make the call. Yeah, Looks close. safe to me. I think that hands in there. He tagged him on the top of the five. So the Cardinals will challenge here. For the moment, Mercado is out at second. Let's see if there's enough evidence to change the call. And the only question is it did that glove catch him on the shoulder first? From that angle, it does not appear to have done it. See from this angle, does Vargas get him? Man, looks safe to me. But I do, in the booth, as you know, wear my Cardinal red glasses. So, you know. Well, they're an exceptionally good looking color. Well, I pull it off, too, with my pale complexion. <laughs> it's the contrast, really. <laughs> so. You think he's safe or out? I think he's safe. I do too. We all know how these replays work, though. There's got to be enough evidence to overturn it. We'll see. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. St. Louis retains their challenge. So it's a stolen base. Cardinals keep their challenge. And Goldschmidt still the hitter. He now has a 3 2 count. This is the 34th time this year Paul has faced a 3 2 pitch. He's hitting 364 on the full count. Get a run here. Get this crowd roaring at Bush. The pitch. Hook foul. a good pitch to just spoil right there. Urias ends up going with that change up. It's really well located on the corner, but Goldie will make you continue to work until he finds something he can hit. 
May 7th his last homer this would be a perfect time for another foul straight back something else to keep in mind is the Cardinals have had improved play the running game has been in effect they've stolen 17 straight bases and they took a chance with Mercado and after review he's in scoring position pitch number eight. Good at bat. Goldschmidt earns a walk. Second one of those from Urias. And now Contreras is coming up with two aboard. Well, certainly making Urias work to this point. That was an eight pitch at bat by Goldie. Remember, this Dodgers bullpen has been busy. They had to eat up a lot of innings here in their last series. The Dodgers pen covered up 21 of the 30 innings that they had against the Twins. So yeah they want to make Urias work and knock him out of his game. Go ahead run in the batter's box Contreras struck out his first time up as Brad said Urias went up in the zone a lot. Fly ball center that ball is well hit that ball is not coming back a mammoth home run and the Cardinals have the lead. That ball was destroyed. Julio Urias went back to the well, struck out Contreras with the changeup last time, threw him a first pitch changeup. You think he knew he got every bit of this one? Walks the dog for a minute and then goes out and takes his trot around the bases. Get some. So St. Louis has its first lead. Nolan Arenado is coming up. Fourth homer for Contreras, 21 RBIs, and as Brad said, the 11th homer Urias has allowed this year, and it was a no doubt. Tommy Edman is the next scheduled hitter, but it looks like Juan Yepes has grabbed the bat. As he moves on deck. Again, if you weren't watching earlier, Tommy Edmond and Lars Newpar had a collision in right center field. Both of them looked a little banged up, and then they had to go check on Tommy Edmond as he was at second base. Checking on Will Smith now after he took that foul ball right off the mass. Remember, missed time with concussion earlier in the season. A Contreras three run homer has the crowd buzzing the pitch popped up Vargas and Rojas it'll be the second baseman Vargas and there is out number two and it will be Yepes for Tommy Edmund who bore the brunt of that collision with Newbar in right field earlier in the game. Yepes at 240. And now Mark Pryor, the Dodgers pitching coach, out to give Urias a little scouting report. Again, Yepes not in the starting lineup for St. Louis. Also gives him a breather after this long inning that saw him surrender a two run lead. So, as our T Mobile coverage cam, it is that second inning collision that's forced Tommy Edman from the game. Yeah, this ball is just. Raging into the gap. They're both converging on it. And as you mentioned, Tommy does take the brunt of it. Does a fantastic job of being able to hang on to this thing. But Lars Newbar is running full force and catches him. Don't know again to this point what exactly is ailing Tommy Edmund. First of all, you hope that it's something that he can rectify quickly. You know how important Tommy is to this ball club. Yepes takes outside one ball no strikes.
I'd watch that again too. Swing fly ball hit high in the air toward left. At the track, at the wall, that one's gone. Look at Yepens. Juan Yepes has talked about his role, the fact that he prepares every day. He's always ready no matter what. Gets the call here, gets a change up that hangs up there, hits it high, hits it deep. And the Cardinals have two out of their last three guys hitting homers and extend their lead in this ball game. Contreras is pumped. Bush Stadium is rocking. Second career regular season pinch hit homer for Yepes. I'm pretty sure that's not what Mark Pryor had in mind. Hang a change up and see how far Yepes can hit it. Great meeting, Mark. Cardinals with four in the third inning. Oh, that is one. We, we talked about it with, with Urias. Look, he has had a tendency to give up home runs. Came into action giving up 10. That was tops in the NL. Has given up 10 here or two here in this ball game. That's how you're going to have to get to him. He's tough to string together. Hits on. Line drive deep right center field. That's on the run. That one's going to go too. Your Chevy pitch tracks, it's the slurve, it's right down the middle, thigh high, and Nolan Gorman doesn't miss it. His 11th of the season, his 34th RBI, and everybody is feeling it tonight. Nolan Gorman has his first two hits of the year against the left-handed pitcher tonight, and that one left the ballpark. It's a five-run inning. The Cardinals have hit three homers. And now have given Adam Wainwright a 5 to 2 lead. Chip, I got a feeling that Gorman's going to continue to get more nods against the lefties. He keeps taking APs like this. First homer off a left handed pitcher in his career. The Cardinals go back to back with Yepes and Gorman against Julio Urias. Is pushing towards 60 pitches. That man got it going with a mammoth three run homer to straightaway center. Well, look at that. He, he hits his home run. He's digging right back in to the Dodgers, their hitters. How he's going to navigate Adam Wainwright through the top of the next inning. And Orius is going to have to throw at least 30 pitches. In the Cardinals third. Paul DeYoung, the eighth man to hit. Those are your home run hitters tonight. It's a great take right there. Cutter under the zone by Urias. You can tell he's laboring in this inning. These are those innings where that pitch clock, boy, it gets on you quickly. You'd love to step off, take a breather, just don't have time. And as good as Urias looked in the first inning, he does not look as sharp since. No, and hence the mistakes. I mean, it's two mistakes with the changeup, a mistake with that slider, that slurve, 31 pitches right now in this third inning. That one could have been dangerous, too. Cardinals have homered in seven consecutive games. It's the second game on this home stand that the Cardinals have a three homer inning. The Birds bats are beginning to boom the pitch. Swing fly ball. That one's going to go a long way. Off the foul pole. A four homer inning.
to back to back. Paulie D said, you guys having a home run party? I love parties. He gets himself a fastball in, jumps all over it after this count started. 0-2, Urias could not bury him. And he hits it right off the netting out there in left field. Contreras, he's jumping up and down. He got the party started with his three-run shot. Everybody is in on the action here. Six to St. Louis. They'll bat around against Urias. The last time the Cardinals had a four homer inning July 2nd last year against the Phillies they hit four consecutive off Kyle Gibson. Top fly foul back our way. A ball and a strike. Now they sure pushed the right button in this inning wouldn't you say. After the Contreras home run Edmund left and Yepes started the first of three solo homers. And nothing that man can do is he's playing with a short pen. Yeah, that is uh, that's one of the biggest keys. I, I really feel like if they had a rested bullpen over there they might have gone out and got Urias already in this ball game. but he's at 67 pitches. Their bullpen again has covered 21 of the last 30 innings coming into this game. They need length. Off the end of the bat, Betts broke back. Now has to recover. Comes charging in, and he makes the head high catch to retire the side. Adam Wainwright has been given six runs. It's a four run game as the Cardinals play long ball here in game one. Bombs away in St. Louis for the Cardinals in the third inning. Wilson Contreras a three run homer to give us the lead. Yepes took over for Tommy Edmond. He homered. Gorman homers against a lefty. Paul DeYoung hits the netting down the left field line as Urias gave up four homers in the third inning. And now Wayno needs a shutdown inning to keep momentum in the Cardinals dugout. Huge inning right here for Adam Wainwright who is looking sharper as we go on. And again this is where Adam needs to live it's the bottom of the zone with that sinker we've seen better depth here in the last two innings with that breaking ball as well. Miguel Vargas quickly behind O and two. Rough inning. For Urias the pitch. Breaking ball had him off stride into left. Yepes checks in. He takes over in left field. Mercado moves to right. And Wino has the first out. Here's Outman. Truly an historic night for the St. Louis offense against the Dodgers pitching staff. They've allowed four homers in an inning just twice since 1969 before the Redbirds did what they did a moment ago. Once was in Colorado which you understand as that ball whistled foul at right the other one in 1970 at then Jack Murphy Stadium and back then you had to hit the ball into the seats for it to be a home run. Pretty amazing to see that and this Cardinal offense be ready but again to use the term that we heard in spring training about this offense relentless right. Relentless top to bottom. That's what they should be. That's what we've seen recently. So now you lead by four. Adam Wainwright pushing toward 200 major league victories this season. Now has a 2 1 count. That missed. Ball three. Peralta and Rojas to follow in the Dodger fourth inning.
Well, Altman does like the ball down across the bottom. That's where a lot of his pop comes from. Can't elevate. On the ground to short. The Young's got that. Flip to first is in plenty of time. Two outs. Amazing. Altman took a center cut pitch for strike two and then grounds out on the next one. Thank you very much. Two away for Peralta. He's 0 for 1. A fly out to center field. Lower abdominal soreness is what knocked Tommy Edmund out of the game after the collision with Newt Barr. As Brad said, hopefully that's not serious. Phil Bickford is getting ready. Looks like Urias' night will come to an end after a blistering taken by him in the third inning. And as we said, he's been great at Dodger Stadium. Away from Los Angeles, it's been very tough. Yeah, ERA just inflated, but coming into tonight, a 6.10 ERA for Urias on the road. Toronto walks on four pitches and Miguel Rojas is your hitter. Reno didn't want to do that. And it's Rojas who hit that fateful fly ball that forced the Cardinals collision in right. That was back in the second. So third walk for the Cardinals right hander. And Rojas who was activated May 1st had some hamstring problems. He's hitting 181. Not an easy task to follow Trey Turner at shortstop. No, and shortstop going to be an interesting one for them to figure out over there. Gavin Lux got injured. DeYoung will flip to second. Wainwright with a shot down inning. Oscar Mercado will lead off for the Cardinals. He started a big rally, and Jim Hayes will tell us more about him when we come back. More heavy lifting for the Dodger bullpen in this game. Phil Bickford answers the Chevy call to the bullpen in the fourth inning after Urias is touched for four homers, six runs in three innings. Oscar Mercado is the man leading off for St. Louis. And for more on his return to the Cardinals, here's Jim Hayes. Yeah, Oscar was born in Columbia. He and his family eventually made their way to Tampa, Florida. He officially became a U.S. citizen in 2018. He told me because of baseball my process took a little longer than the rest of my family. We are all so grateful for what this country has provided us. Chip while in Columbia as a small child he watched MLB baseball on television. He told me one of his favorite players was former Cardinal Edgar Renteria a native of Columbia. How could you not like Edgar Renteria. Man what a pros pro. Great shortstop. As I hammer job down the line for Mercado that's going to get down and roll into the corner and Oscar's on his way to second he's got a leadoff double have yourself a night. Well Oscar Mercado as we talked about earlier been chomping at the bit waiting for this opportunity here in the big leagues with the Cardinals. We've seen him in the big leagues with Cleveland got a little stint with Philly. First couple of times at bat with the Cardinals getting it done. This one a slider just catches it out in front. Got himself a double down the line. And Lars Newtbar, your hitter. He popped up twice. Had a healthy cut, foul that back. Strike one. Well, after a rough series against the Dodgers in LA, the Cardinals. And they're hitting shoes on tonight. Six runs on seven hits. They've homered in seven straight games. They've hit four more homers here tonight. And that has delighted this big crowd in St. Louis. Huge crowds expected all weekend long for LA's lone visit. To St. Louis. Yeah, it, it's going to be a really fun weekend. Already a, a fun evening tonight against the Dodgers. And it's just great seeing this long ball come to fruition for the Cardinals. Early on, just weren't hitting too many homers. Fly ball well hit towards center. 
That ball carrying out to the track near the wall and Lars just missed. Mercado will tag and move to third. Man oh man are the Cardinals launching tonight. New bar 0 for three but he advances the runner. There's your first out. It just missed home run number five there off the bat of Lars new bar in an area where he loves it. It was a fastball up. Just didn't quite get all of it. And Goldie sitting here looking and said I tap back to the pitcher. Not tap back hit a rocket off his leg actually he walked. He said I like all these home runs everybody else is hitting I want in. And that's how the Dodgers infield defense plays. That's got to be fun with Paul Goldschmidt who has. More hard hit balls. Than anybody on the team. Come on in. A strike. Evens the count. Bickford three innings. Four strikeouts four walks against Minnesota. That was his last outing. But quite obviously. All this bullpen work the Dodgers are racking up now is not going to be sustainable especially no. against the teams they're playing on this road trip. Well, you think about it even for Bigford right he's only had two days rest off a three inning stint. I don't know how much heat length he's going to be able to give you in this ball game. So this this bullpen has been taxed and that was one of the biggest keys for the Cardinals coming into this game. What kind of a what kind of pressure can you apply to Urias and get the pitch count up. Now they didn't necessarily just get the pitch count up. They drove him out of the ball game. Goldie takes ball four. First and third with one out and here's the man that got the homer parade started for the Cardinals. Let's check out the metrics. Our Statcast 3D presented by Google Cloud for the four homer third inning. Thing of beauty right here for the Cardinals. The long ball. Contreras got a change up up. He drove it out of the ballpark. Same with Yepes. It was a slurve off the bat of Gorman and Pauly D got a fastball in. I mean, they're hitting everything that Urias had. Contreras really admired his home run. Runner at first goes. The pitch is outside. The throw to second. Skips away. A run will come home. Mercado scores on a double steal. Seven two, St. Louis. Well, even if this throw didn't kick off, I think that bag is stolen there by Goldie. Mercado takes off as soon as he sees that throw going through. And a well executed play here by the Cardinals. Seeing the long ball, now a little small ball there, utilizing some of the team speed. Goldschmidt with his 29th straight stolen base, 19 in a row without being caught for the Cardinals team. And now Contreras, another man in scoring position. 7 2, Cardinals have the lead. So Mercado just up from Memphis. Two for two, two runs and a couple of steals. That's a pretty good night. Two zero count. We're told the official scoring on Mercado's play is he scored on a fielder's choice, but that plays under review. You said, Brad, as soon as that throw went through, he took off. He was gone, and he looked like he was going to be there for sure. We'll see how this one ends up shaking out. Either way, a nice night for Oscar Mercado. Contreras taking all the way. Three balls and a strike. L.A. will have the top of the order coming up in the fifth inning. Adam Wayne right now with a five-run lead. Flip the bat away, but he'll head back to the dish with a full count. Bigford catches the corner here with the fastball. Contreras obviously didn't think so. He collects his items and comes right back to the plate. Good rip at that. Nolan Arenado 
is your on deck man. After the Cardinals beat up on Kenley Jansen in Boston they've looked like a different team. It has carried over tonight they fell behind early by two and as we've said maybe going back even further Brad to the homestand that wrapped up with the Tigers when they trailed after the Grand Slam it's they huge. counter punched in that game. They've been doing that much more effectively and frequently. Well, they really have and they've been able to lean upon their offense. But at the same time their pitching has been a lot better. Good emergency hack right there foul something off get another pitch against Bigford. But you're right the, the offense since that game they've gone out and won three series straight. And you just feel like you're never out of it instead of right now thinking all right well what's going to go wrong you're thinking OK how are we going to come back or how are we going to add to this lead that's the feeling. Or even better when are we coming back sure not if we're going to come back right. So long at bats all night long for the Cardinals hitters. This one will be a nine pitch sequence. But nothing Dave Roberts can do at the moment. As Contreras didn't get that big swing and a miss. Now there's Bickford's first strikeout. One away for Nolan Arenado. Don't miss your chance to get discounted Cardinals tickets. Get eight or more gallons of gas at a participating station using Phillips 66's fuel forward app. And you'll get two for one Cardinals tickets. For more information, go to cardinals.com slash Phillips 66. Nolan wants to get in on the fun. He's walked and popped out tonight. RBIs in 10 of his last 11 games. Five homers, 14 ribbies in the last seven he's played. Swing fly ball headed toward that bullpen track wall way out of here. I don't know what the budget for fireworks is but they might have to double it. But Nolan Arenado finally got his invitation to the home run party the Cardinals fifth of the day he had homer in five straight took a day off yesterday hit his thousandth RBI and gets right back at it here hammering a Bigford fastball and adding to that Cardinal lead. Arenado with an RBI in eight consecutive games that matches his career high individually and here's Yepes who homered in a pinch his first time up a little squibber hit toward first and Freddie Freeman will get to the bag in time and that'll retire the side six in the third three in the fourth for the Cardinals who enjoy a nine two lead. Cardinals baseball is brought to you by your quality Ford dealers proud sponsor of the St. Louis Cardinals and by steel real steel find yours at steeldealers.com. This one has been one for the ages St. Louis playing long ball five homers in this game. And now Adam Wainwright Brad has a seven run lead he needs to get through this fifth with that lead to qualify for another victory yeah, he is on the race to 200 victories for his career currently sitting on 195 wins that's third most in franchise history here for the Redbirds. Mickey Betts stands in the way and fouls that back two balls and a strike. Well, you can see it too right now Adam's feeling it. you see the way that he's walking around he's getting more and more comfortable confident really feeling through things in that first inning but executing pitches here after that. This one popped up toward right Mercado handles this chance and takes care of Betts. 
Let's step aside for a quick word from BJC Healthcare. Freddie Freeman is 0 for 2. It's been an emotional trip for Freddie Freeman, not just St. Louis, but heading back to Atlanta, where he starred for so many years. That's next for L.A. after this four-game set. Well, Chip, you got to see Freddie Freeman up close for so many years. What is it that makes him so special? Uh, consistency. Uh, he can hit lefties, righties. He has one goal in mind at the plate. And that's hit a line drive over the shortstop's head, and that serves him well to all fields. A gold glover, first gold glover at first base in the history of the Braves. Is that right? Yep. Wow. And as good a guy as you'd hope a superstar would be. Fly ball right. Mercado on the track at the wall and that one's off the top of the fence it ricochets back toward the infield and Freddie Freeman head down will barrel toward third base and he'll stand there with a triple his first of the year. It's not such a good guy there. Look all that good talk about him and made me sick with one <laughs> swing of the bat. All of those great things you said about Freddie Freeman here. This one here it's the change up from Adam Wainwright trying to go down the way with it ends up down and in right into the swing of Freddie Freeman and just launches this into the corner Mercado pursues it but realizes he can't get there ball kicks right back past him for a three bagger. Will Smith pops this one up first pitch long run who's going to catch up it's Mercado near the line and no events so there's Wayno second out of the fifth inning how about Oscar Mercado getting his steps in this inning he's playing well well off the line that closing speed to get this ball right near the line and Adams got a chance to strand Freddie Freeman right over there at third base. Once he has walked and he has flied out. 9 2 Cardinals, the pitch. Something about Adam Wainwright always leads you to believe he'll figure something out. Yeah, I mean, they, again, that first inning, just feeling through things, was leaning heavily on the cutter, but couldn't put it where he wanted to. We've seen him use the sinker and the breaking ball a bit more. There's that cutter right there leaked out over the plate a little bit but in command of a count yet again that's something that we've seen here after that first inning also and Adam is as good as they come of making stuff up on the fly if he doesn't have a certain pitch on a given day some guys are done if they don't have it Adam Wainwright's going to lean on something else and he's going to use his brains to get him out of some of these innings. Andre Jackson is playing catch in the L.A. bullpen. Looks like he'll come on for the fifth. After Pickford gave up three more runs, the pitch is hammered and a diving catch at second. Donovan to his right. He robs Muncy of an RBI hit. And Wayno is qualified for the victory tonight. It's 9-2 Cardinals. Grateful Night is back at the ballpark. Grateful Dead Night, that is. With your purchase of a special theme ticket, fans get a short sleeve Grateful Dead all over print shirt. I was so excited about this part of the promo. Jake's leg will be performing pregame here at Bush Stadium. Tickets still available for game two of the series here at Cardinals.com slash theme. I mean, Jake's leg's been doing it for nearly five decades of entertaining the masses. We have a fun one here tomorrow, Chip. I know. You're going to be up there. I'm going to be there with you. 
Gonna bring all of our Jake's leg apparel. All the things that you would do at a concert like that, we're doing it. Nolan Gorman is the hitter. That's got me thinking. I think the appropriate apparel for Jake's leg would certainly be pants. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nolan Gorman a big night against the lefty Julio Urias first two hits this year a single and then a home run the second of three in a row hit by the Cardinals in the third inning they wanted to find out what he could do against the left handers we got a good taste of it against a very good one in Urias. Know that he didn't have himself a good day here, but it was going to be a tough challenge, and the Cardinals and Nolan Gorman were up for it. 34 RBI now, tied with Nolan Arenado, both behind Pete Alonso. And here is that third inning homer, one of four the Cardinals hit in that frame. Just stayed on it though. That's the biggest key against the left hander. If that front shoulder and front hip bail out, even on a breaking ball that doesn't land in the right spot, he could easily roll over on that thing. He didn't. He stayed in and drove the baseball. And so all of a sudden, the Cardinals have another nice problem on their hands. As we said, Gorman at one point led the National League in RBIs as basically a platoon player. Now he's seeing more lefties and he's hitting them. Oh, I don't see a problem. He's playing. I don't have a big office like Ollie does, but I would be inclined to play him a lot. One would think 2 2. Not this time, swing and a miss. Jackson retires Gorman, and that's how the home fifth starts. Let's enjoy a quick word from Rally House. Play ball, St. Louis. Shop the latest in Cardinals style with your favorite brands and throwback designs. Rally House has gear for every fan. Here's Paul DeYoung. He's popped out in Homer. That's curling toward the netting and out of play to the right. Young and Donovan to follow in the St. Louis fifth inning. Cardinals in command of game one, 9 2 is your score. Redbirds try to win nine of their last 11 play. High fly ball, that's well hit again toward left, but to the track. And the grab is made there. Peralta handles that. And the park big enough to hold that drive from DeYoung for the second out. And the Cardinals are barreling the baseball one through nine on the lineup card tonight. Brendan Donovan. A night like this, we have four homers in an inning, and you hit five homers against a pitching rich organization like the LA Dodgers. It's Certainly noteworthy. It's the sixth time in franchise history the Cardinals have had a five homer game against the Dodgers franchise. Twice in 1940, once in 1950, once in 1953, once last year, and again tonight. When was the last time they had a six home run game? Back to the computer. Ground ball toward first. And the flip to the pitcher covering will send us to the sixth inning. Oh, Brad is a ruthless taskmaster. 9 2 your score. It's game one in St. Louis. Cards Kids Clinic registrations now open. It's time to register your son or daughter, age 7 to 13, for an unforgettable experience. Your scheduled special guests include Brendan Donovan and Ryan Helsley. Register now at cardinals.com slash clinics. Plenty of highlights to check out on the mobile device in this game. J.D. Martinez to straightaway center. 
can accord and new has got that at the edge of the warning track. And the Dodgers have started to empty their bench. They brought in Thompson to play right. Mookie Betts is done for the rest of this game. And Wayno just rolling merrily along. The Dodgers swinging early in the count. Maybe looking ahead to game two tomorrow night. Well, you're going to be pumping strikes. You got your seven run cushion right now if you're Adam Wainwright. Try to get some of those outs early. Miguel Vargas is the hitter. You could easily see with a very quick inning here. You see Adam going back out there again. That's out of play. One ball, one strike. Dodgers are really in the middle of a long gauntlet of of tough games. Think about this from April 28th until their trip down to Tampa Bay. This is who L.A. has played and will be playing first the two on pitch. It's lined over short and Vargas has a base hit. Before we tell you about the Dodgers rough schedule let's check in again with Jim Hayes tonight. Yeah, Chip, our old friend Mike Matheny is in the house. He threw out the first pitch tonight. Mike, of course, played and managed here. He's been back on his opposing manager before, but this is his first time back as a civilian. He told me, my emotions are mixed. We've had a lot of different emotions thrown our way here, but you realize I played here. I was in a World Series here. I managed here. So much good, nothing could dampen that. And Chip, Mike spent a lot of time in Florida where he says his family is known as the Matheny's he said he doesn't miss the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> well it is a bright spotlight both as a player and manager here with the St. Louis Cardinals and Mike looks great. Well the reception for Mike was huge it was great and as it should be for Mike Matheny an incredible career incredible ambassador for the game of baseball great leader great to see him back at the ballpark. James Outman your hitter as action begins in the Cardinals pen. Wainwright pushing toward 90 pitches as he builds strength up. Remember, he was on the I.O. for quite some time, made a handful of rehab starts. This is third start of regular season play with the Cardinals. It was 86 pitches last time out against Boston. It was in the mid-90s in his first start. And so what we had pointed out earlier, the first 45 versus second 45 pitches for Adam Wainwright that script has been flipped tonight too well, as we were talking about small sample size in two outings right the, the first two did not go exactly as Adam has planned he settled into this ball game so well swing and a miss Outman didn't get a big bender and two are out that is Adams first strikeout of this game. Sometimes you rack up a bunch of them. Sometimes you get your first one late. Your Plaza Tire Service pitch track 72 mile an hour bender and a good one right at the bottom of the zone to get him. David Peralta, your hitter. And slower than slow, Peralta couldn't time that. I've said this before. I don't know if you agree or not, but. With everybody geared up on our game to hit high velocity pitches that 82 to 85 mile an hour pitch or even slower for Wainwright might be the new 100 as that one gets through Goldschmidt there's a tough break and the Dodgers will continue the inning with runners at first and third well, has made a couple of errors in the game on ground balls this one uncharacteristically by Paul Goldschmidt is yeah, something that just never seems to happen for Goldie. This one just sneaks right through his legs. I don't know if it ended up catching the corner right there of the grass and the dirt right there on the lip. But either way, sneaks right under him, right through the five hole. But the point being, guys are so used to hitting high velocity. 
the old below hitting speed sometimes pays big dividends. No, I, I think you make a great point. You, you get so used to something over and over again. Now you do have to make sure you hit your spots with those things. Sure. Because your miss is uh, you, you don't have the same ability of a miss middle to get fouled back. Generally it's going to get hurt if you're not throwing as hard. But Adam Wainwright has learned over the years better than anybody that I can remember of recent vintage at least to pitch with what he's had what, what he has and, and just learn to adapt and put it on the corners and change up his sequencing. He's a pitcher. We have a lot of throwers in the game. He's a pitcher. Top of the zone taken for a strike for Rojas. Trace Thompson's on deck. Wainwright trying to navigate his way through six innings of two run four hit baseball. Line drive makes it nine to three. So the inning continues after the error. That's an unearned run, but it still counts for the Dodgers, who are now six runs back. And back to the top we go, and Thompson. Oliver Marmol is making his way to the center of the diamond. Genesis Cabrera was warming up, and that is going to be the last pitch of the night thrown by Adam Wainwright. 96 in total. He will leave with a 9 3 lead and a standing ovation. Don't you love these debriefing shots after a starter leaves the game with a nice lead? Like seeing these guys get together. You know, Adam Wainwright would have loved to get out of that. And he had the ground ball, an error that you just never see happen by Goldie. But what a positive outing it was here for Adam. And now, Hennessy's Cabrera going to look to keep it right there. But these guys always get together after outings. They talk about the good, the bad, everything in between. Your Chevy call to the bullpen in for his 17th game of the year. Coming off a good one last time out against Boston where he punched out two in his inning of work. Dodgers have struggled mightily this year against left handed pitching hitting 195 as a team. With a 298 on base percentage. It is a right hand hitter in Trace Thompson to greet Hennessy's Cabrera two on two outs and that paints the outside edge. Here are your Dodger runners. Peralta at second Rojas at first Rojas with an RBI hit after the E3 that prolongs the inning. High fly ball down the line but that is pulled foul right size right shape for the Cardinals that was 30 feet foul it's strike two and this has done most of his great work against left handed hitters he's got a righty up now. Trace Thompson is batting for Mookie Betts. It's a good opportunity for Cabrera as well though like uh, with that that point that you mentioned the dominant dominance he has against the lefties. You'd love to see him to work into more roles where you feel confident in him in tight games late against the right handers also got a chance to work on some of these things here. Ninety six guide foul. Now it's Libertor's turn to offer a little advice to Adam Wainwright. You know, I don't know if he's offering <laughs> advice or just soaking it all in again but all smiles there with the Cardinals starting pitching something that we didn't see much of early in the season this group starting to turn the corner. One ball two strikes floats out of the zone two and two. Just joining us the birds have put on a show tonight. 
Dodgers got two runs in the first inning off Wayne Wright. He slammed the door until this sixth inning. The Cardinals with six in the third and three in the fourth. They've hit five homers in the game. And lead 9 3 now. As that's downstairs. A full count. We've got Freddie Freeman waiting next. The payoff. Thompson not going quietly. Mookie Betts, by the way, finished this night. One for three with a double and a run score. He'll take aim at the Cardinals tomorrow night. Steven Matz and Tony Gonsolin will be the opposing starters. We'll have it for you here on Valley Sports Midwest. Runners go, and it's ball four, and the bases are loaded for Freeman. Doesn't matter the score for this guy. Freeman's going to fight till the 27th out, and now he could make things very interesting for L.A. Yeah, all of a sudden, one swing of the bat, your breathing room is all but gone here with Freddie Freeman, the guy in Freeman who is a tough customer against everybody, but five of his home runs have come off of lefties. He was trying to hit it out with that swing. Didn't get it. Strike one. Well, for Cabrera, too, got him to swing through that breaking ball. If you're going to throw it again, make sure it's down the way. I wouldn't make that mistake down the middle again. Fly ball center. Drifting back, Newt Bar, track wall, it is a grand slam. The error opens the floodgates. And the Dodgers are right back in this game. The inning should have ended. Single, walk, slam, it's a two-run game. I didn't think that there was any way that Freeman was going to beat this fastball to the spot and he just drops the head on it and it travels. I mean I thought Newt had a beat on it too and it just kept going and going and going his eighth home run off uh, of the season his sixth off of left handed pitching. So the Dodgers have hit six grand slams. Good teams cash in mistakes, and that's exactly what L.A. did. And so Adam Wainwright's fate now not nearly as secure as it was a moment ago. And that was a patented Freddie Freeman swing. Opposite field grand slam. Now Will Smith ahead in the count. Rivera walk Thompson. Freeman with the grand slam. Smith the third man he's facing. Nothing wrong with that. Two balls two strikes. Yeah, you'll take that for sure. Ninety six mile an hour fastball in on the hands right there of Will Smith. We talked about it earlier with Smith. Smith, a very good breaking ball hitter. If you're going to attack him, fastball might be a good plan, especially that one in on the hands. Roll toward third, and that should end the inning, and it does. But an error opens the door for a big inning for Los Angeles. They score five times. It's a two run game now. One said home runs are good. And that's the subject of our BJC Healthcare Difference Maker. That should be a t shirt. Five of them for the Cardinals here. Everybody getting in on the action. Paul DeYoung rips the hands in, gets another one. Nolan Arnato, he got in on the party also. Contreras got it started. 
and the Cardinals looking to add to it as Freddie Freeman cut into the lead with his grand slam is 300 big league career home run Dodger fan caught that they've escorted him down to the L.A. clubhouse he'll work out a trade with Freddie Freeman for that milestone hit and so now you've got to add back on here you've got a two run lead you bat last it is only the sixth inning and Oscar Mercado is the leadoff man he's two for two two steals and two runs scored. Yeah, momentum now on the Dodgers side of the diamond. Let's see if the Cardinals can snatch it right back here. Popped up. Peralta broke back, but he'll come in and gather that in. There's your first out in the home sixth. And back to the top of the order we go. Newt Bar's 0 for 3. Well, I'll tell you what, this. Cardinals offensive transmission is humming merrily along 24 homers in their last 13 games only the Yankees have hit more homers than St. Louis in that same stretch could use a few more of them what well, really was the expectation too coming into this season that you knew you knew on the corners what you had already in Goldie and Arenado and until recently it had been slow with Nolan what Nolan Gorman has done has been a revelation and then top to bottom you're just seeing quality at bats from this team and, and really everybody in this lineup has the ability to leave the yard. That skips up there for Newt Bar two balls and a strike as we move toward 9 p.m. in St. Louis man another entertaining big league game. The Red Hot Dodgers, the Red Hot Cardinals, the Birds lead at 9 7. In the air toward left center. Outman says he's got it, and he does. And Newtbar gave it a ride, but he's the second out. The Dodger bullpen starting to settle in. They've retired five straight. Paul Goldschmidt is your hitter. First, though, a quick word from Great Southern Bank. Find an account that fits you with affordable options, trusted guidance, and personalized support along the way. Get started at GreatSouthernBank.com. Goldie's walked twice and scored twice. It could be interesting, too, if this game stays tight, how the Cardinals close this one out. Don't know if Helsley is available, Palante, Gallegos. That trio has been used a lot in recent days. And it. Nine to two it looked like it wasn't going to be something you had to ponder. Now it's nine seven. No you're right you might have to lean on somebody else late that generally doesn't get that nod. Cardinals have options they trust. Drew Verhagen certainly in the middle of that mix. I think Stratton's throwing the ball really really well also. So you got some other guys other characters there. Helsley though is the wild card if he's available tonight or not. Two balls and a strike. Oh, pull on a few more runs here and make it a non save situation. One I like thing, the way you think. One thing we know is with that big sixth inning. The Dodgers are going to have their top three hitters up one more time tonight. Two balls two strikes. Off the end of the bat, and Paul's still alive. It's two and two. Light big league schedule today. Marlins win again. Skip Schumacher's fish are playing good baseball. Mets beat Tampa Bay at home. And the Angels knocked off Baltimore. Full slate begins tomorrow night. The pitch. Five up five down for Jackson out of the bullpen. That's down the line and. No play. Four. 
four five and six on the Dodger lineup card when we get to the seventh we're not there yet. Goldschmidt will see an eighth pitch then Wilson Contreras will follow he's hit a three run homer tonight. Make him work. That's exactly what he does. The pair of walks, seen a ton of pitches in this ball game. You know that he would want nothing more than to be able to add to this lead after the very rare error that led to a couple more runs last inning. On the ground to second, there's a boot, and Goldschmidt will reach. So the inning continues. Contreras did this back in the crazy Cardinal third. Got himself a center cut changeup and really got things going after a Mercado single, a Goldie walk, the three run home run, and talk about a walk the first seven, eight steps out of the box. He knew he got every bit of it. Contreras plays with a swagger. He's just got a feel about him, and he's been feeling it here recently. Well, the Dodgers cashed in with two outs a moment ago. Let's see what St. Louis can do here. That's up and away. One ball, no strikes. Seeing Contreras do something slightly different as he gets set in the batter's box while the pitch clock trickles down. He's getting in a little more quickly and immediately looking at the pitcher. There was a memo distributed to Major League clubs after Contreras took Kenley Jansen out of his game with the Red Sox. We're told any such deceivery, if you will, will be considered such, and a strike could be applied if it's in the umpire's judgment if that was happening. Swing and a miss. So, the way that the league is looking at this is basically circumventing the rule that is already out there. Right. Did you get the memo? Yeah. Make sure you get the memo. <laughs> So we need rules to fix the rules that aren't working the way the rules are supposed to work. Right. And if that doesn't work, we're going to send out another memo. Yeah. And we'll get everybody on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> to in large part, though, I would say that the pitch clock is working. Yeah. It's working well. The game has sped up. Offense has been up from years prior. But that was a, a beautiful smart sequence by Contreras yeah, up at was. Fenway Park. You don't see Kenley Jansen rattle often and he had him. And the Cardinals cuffed him around in the fence for two wins. The pitch foul back. Two and two. Jackson has thrown over twice if Goldschmidt wanted to take off. With his terrific stolen base streak rolling. Might see if that's a play here with two outs. Good lead, not going, and off the knuckles out of play. Jackson giving the Dodgers much needed length out of the bullpen. The problem is Urias went three. They may have to cover as many as six innings tonight. As it stands now, it will only be five. But their bullpen pitched in all but nine innings in their just completed series with the Twins. In the air and caught it second. And that will retire Contreras and the Cardinals. To the seventh we go. What a game. 9 7 St. Louis. Tomorrow it's the Audi Tumbler giveaway at Bush Stadium. 25,000 fans 16 and up take home their own stainless steel tumbler featuring Yadio Molina. That's courtesy of Coca-Cola and Quick Trip. Go to Cardinals.com slash promotions and get all the details. To the seventh we go. A Freddie Freeman Grand Slam has brought the Dodgers to within two runs. 9-7. Muncie Martinez and Vargas coming up against Henesis Cabrera. 
minutes. Now here's where command and control becomes so very important. You do not have much margin for error. No, and this guy doesn't swing. Like he's not expanding his zone a lot, even in zone. He is super, super selective. High strike. Muncie has walked flat out and lined out. There's a good pitch. It's a good harder slider right there from Cabrera. We see that bigger breaking ball a lot, but that's an effective pitch. Yeah, like that one again. Throw that thing, start at middle, let it go down and away. High fly ball toward right. Mercado back to the wall. It's a one run game. Nobody planned on this. Freeman and Muncie have hit homers and have knocked in five runs. They're left hand hitters. Well, Hennessy's Cabrera did go with that pitch again. It did not start middle and go away. It started in and it ended up being down and in right there in the honey hole for Muncie. And he jumped all over it. So the Dodgers have scored the last six runs unanswered. It's nine to eight. Cabrera has not had the magic here tonight. And Oliver Marmol is going to come out and get him. L.A. scored five in the sixth inning. They've got one here in the seventh. And now a wild game is ensuing late in St. Louis. The Cardinals lead is now one. Cardinals baseball is brought to you by AT&T Fiber. Get hyper-fast internet with AT&T Fiber. And by Budweiser, this Bud's for you. We continue on in the seventh inning in St. Louis. It's 9-8. Nobody on or out. The Cardinals and Dodgers have combined to hit seven home runs in this game. That is a Bush Stadium record tying statistic. Well, Drew Verhagen, your Chevy call to the bullpen, is looking to stop that here. Stop the bleeding in this ballgame. One that it looked like the Cardinals are going to win outright easily is now a one run affair. Verhagen, two and two thirds innings of work over his last two outings. He's got J.D. Martinez getting things started. That pitch was up but fouled away. It's one ball, one strike. This game was firmly in the grasp of the Cardinals in the sixth inning. Two outs, a man aboard, an error. Then opened the floodgates. Freddie Freeman's grand slam, his 300th career homer. The big blow. Only the second player in the history of the game to hit a grand slam for his 300th home run is Freeman tonight. We're told Ruben Sierra did that with the Yankees. Pretty good way to do it. That would be yeah. a, a nice exclamation point. It certainly was for Freddie Freeman. Now hopefully it ends up being a footnote in this ball game. The Cardinals can pull away and nail this thing down. Which got to find a way to solve Mr. Jackson, who's retired all but one batter he's faced, and that batter that reached was on an error. As he's giving the Dodgers a much needed lift out of their bullpen tonight after Urias was tagged for six runs in his three innings tonight. That ball launched toward right. But Mercado with a leap makes the play. Verhagen gets his first man one out this ball right here is hit on the screws by J.D. Martinez 106 mile an hour off the bat and Mercado almost overruns this thing but able to make the grab out there and right remember Mercado started this game in left when Tommy Edmund left after a collision with Newt Bar in right center field 
Yepes took over and left, and Mercado moved to the other corner in the outfield. Vargas singled and scored to start the big Dodgers sixth inning rally. This has been a game of big innings, hasn't it? Cardinals got six in the third. L.A. got five back in their half of the sixth. I guess we should expect nothing less from two of the hottest teams currently in the NL. I understand the overall records, but both these teams have been hot. In the air toward left, Yepes broke back, now has to play it on a hop. He misjudged that pop up to left field and Vargas has a bloop single and represents the tying run. Yeah not the best route out in left for Juan Yepes on this one uh, a ball that hung up for quite some time but we'll see first step for him is going back into the gap and it falls in front of him. Could use a ground ball here. Outman's had a quiet night to this point. He's got to be a leading candidate for Rookie of the Year in the National League. Very impressive numbers for this young man. Well, Outman will expand, that's for sure, but big power numbers to your point, Chip. Nine homers, 27 RBIs. He had a go ahead grand slam against the Twins, so he's coming to town hot. Here's that big swing one ball, one strike. It's a funny game. Cabrera's been so good against left handed hitters, but allowed two big homers to left handed batters in his inning, or less than an inning of work. Well, especially against the two lefties that he gave them up to in Freeman and Muncie, they're two guys that you just have to execute. If you don't, they're going to make you pay for it. Upper corner call a strike it's two and two backup cutter here from Verhagen your plaza tire service pitch strike not where he's trying to put it but Jeremy Rehack the home plate umpire gives it to him. So there's a break let's see if we can cash it in the pitch. Nope. Sprayed up and away full count. Lefties only have two hits all year against Drew. Got another one in Peralta waiting on deck. 3 2 pitch, runner holds, pitch popped up. Gorman, long run. Still going, still going, and he can't make the play. The ball drops. Well, this ball again hangs up in the air a long long time Gorman pursues it as long as he can but falls in between he and Yepes. Ball in the air that long you'd love to be able to get an out on it. So now you've got problems here's Peralta. In a game where there have been so many home runs the error off of his bat might prove to be the biggest play in this game. This one hit in the air again toward left. Yepes broke back again. This time, though, he recovers, and look at where Newbar was. Lars was streaking in from center just in case there were any more problems in left. There's the second out. Well, I think that that's probably the thought process anyhow for Newt is go get it, no matter who is on your sides, and he does. He pursues this one, but one under it. So one in, two on, two outs, and Miguel Rojas. A strike. Verhagen a strike away from sending us to the stretch where the Cardinals will have the four five and six hitters coming up need some insurance desperately in a nine eight game.
The one two pitch on the ground is short. Stab there. Throw to second and a great pick. Donovan stretched out and made the play. The Dodgers might want to take a look at this. It's a one run game. The inning over as we stretch in St. Louis. They lead by one run heading to the home seventh. Well, Nolan Arnato, he got in on the action. That was the fifth home run that the Cardinals hit after having the four of them in the third inning. And we could use another home run here. Perfect time for it, wouldn't it be? No question. It's the home seventh. That means it's the Honda home run inning. Your Gateway Honda dealers will make a $1,000 donation to the Make-A-Wish Foundation if this part of the order, or anyone for that matter, for the Cardinals. Hits another home run tonight. 9 8 slugfest. Good news is we're the home team. We bat last. It may come down to that the way this one's gone so far through six and a half. Arenado's reached twice, a walk, and as Brad mentioned, that long homer. Meanwhile, Jackson's been impressive. He's faced seven hitters, he's retired six of them. Giving the Dodgers a chance to come back in this game. They'll have the top of their order up in the eighth. Yank foul. A ball and two strikes. Jordan Hicks is beginning to play catch. Thompson, Freeman, and Smith, the first three scheduled, should he come into the game. Spoil that one. You wonder too in this ball game. And look, a lot of damage done by Freddie Freeman and Max Muncy. You do wonder for the Dodgers if the decision to remove Mookie Betts from this game could loom large for them. Figured they'd get him off his feet. Large deficit. We shall see. Two balls, two strikes. Well, I was saying earlier about the Dodgers schedule. They're in a long stretch of games consecutively without a day off. Their next one comes on this road trip for them. 2 2. Taken low, full count. And the Dodgers, after they started the series with the Cardinals in LA, St. Louis, Philly, San Diego, Milwaukee, Padres, Twins, now the Cardinals, Braves, and Tampa Bay. How's that for a four week roll? Yeah, that's a gauntlet right there. But they've won eight of ten and they're within striking distance here in game one. Leadoff walk would be nice. Let's see what Arenado has in store for us. The pitch. Not to be. He pulled a string and he swung at a ball in the dirt. And Arenado's retired. Second strikeout for Jackson, one away. Yeah, Jackson's been impressive, as you mentioned. He's throwing his fastball well, and then right here. 3 2 count goes with the change up just under the zone, gets the foul tip. Will Smith back there, he hauls it in. So here's Yepes. He came on as a pinch hitter and hit a homer. <laughs> Packed house in St. Louis was roaring. Through five. Everyone on the edge of their seat tonight. Oh, and two. And here is the home run for Yepes, the first of three consecutive in the Cardinals' third. It came in for Tommy Edmond as he left the game with an abdominal injury after a collision out in right field with Lars Newpar and didn't waste any time. Got himself a slider that hung up in the zone by Urias. And deposited it. What an inning it was for the Cardinals. Yep, as the first of three in a row. Two batters after Contreras hit his three home run or three run shot to start the inning off. He's down swinging. Right now, the Cardinals swinging at the invisible ball from this kid. He hasn't allowed a hit yet. Well, the fastball from Jackson's got good giddy up, and then he's using this changeup. 
right off of it to righties and to lefties just catch them out in front and get them to swing over. Gorman's hit a home run tonight. Base is empty. Little tapper back to the mound and the flip to first is in time and the Dodgers top of the order is coming up. Jackson right now the MVP for L.A. It's a 9 8 score. Well that's the trajectory of seven home runs that have been hit combined tonight in game one of this wild series. Yeah, it really has been a crazy game one that the Cardinals look to be in control of the Dodgers fought back in it just like they've done all season long Jordan Hicks into this one to keep that one run lead. He's your Chevy call to the bullpen in for his 18th game and been throwing the ball very well here as of late seven punch outs over his last three innings spanning four and two thirds has not given up a run in his last three either Alec Burleson he's in on the action replacing Juan Yep as in left field L.A. brings on Jason Hayward to pinch hit against Hicks as we start the eighth inning and he unloads on the first pitch and pops it up into shallow left sure enough Burleson the ball finds him and there is out number one it's amazing. You get a defensive change and the ball's hit to that guy immediately. The game is funny, isn't it? Burleson trotting out there saying, boy, I'm used to being the other guy on this one. Usually coming in at this point, but the ball does find him. He does a good job of catching that one that hangs up there for quite some time. A good job there by Hicks pouring in a strike, getting it out quick. Freddie Freeman is the hitter. Three hundred career homers for Freddie Freeman. Halfway toward the cycle, he's got the toughest part out of the way. Triple and the homer. And off the end of the bat, and here it is in the sixth inning off Cabrera. Fastball in, and that swing is so pretty. I do not know how he gets that bat to it so quickly. Just drops the head, drives it. I mean, the thought process there is center field the other way. Did it again. Burleson, another chance. Alec. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> that away, Alec. No problem. Two outs. Watch this. <laughs> uh, if only it were that easy, right? And Will Smith, you're here. Smith has walked and scored. He's reached base twice. And Powder River in for a strike. It's 0 1. Well, this is the appetizer for three more courses in this series. Mats and Gonsolin tomorrow night. Michaelis and Syndergaard on Saturday. Flaherty and Kershaw on Sunday. Then the Cardinals hit the road for a week. Well, you knew this homestand for the Cardinals was going to be quite the test. You had the first place Brewers coming in. They take two of three from them. Looking to take the first one here. How about that efficient inning from Jordan Hicks? Three outs, seven pitches, and the top three hitters. Do nothing in a one run game. Let's get some insurance, partner. 9 8 your score. Is it time to break out, Harry? I don't think it's ever a bad time, Chip. Let's get some runs. Jason Hayward is the man in right. As Jackson goes back to work three innings is his season high he's done that twice he's been awesome tonight for L.A. He's allowed only one base runner. And for the Cardinals the seven eight nine men are coming up. The Freeman home run the Grand Slam his 300th of his career is going to get a lot of play as will the Muncie home run what Jackson is doing though is one of the biggest things that the Dodgers have seen in this ball game giving them a chance popped up balls going to find Hayward who just checked in 
happens every time unless it doesn't. There's your first out in the Cardinals eight. Let's enjoy a quick word from BOS. When you need to expand your business, turn to BOS. We can make loan decisions locally so you can unleash your full potential. BOS, bank boldly. Here's Donovan. Brendan is hitless tonight, 0 for 3. Interesting dilemma for Oliver Marmel. Jordan Hicks against the Dodgers in his career has made seven appearances. He struck out 15 men in eight and two-thirds innings. He just breezed through the one, two, three hitters on their lineup card. In a one-run game, do you send him back out there? Or do you bring on Helsley, whom we weren't sure would even be available? Yeah, for me, if Helsley's ready, I send him out there. And you set it up, and you go 1 1 1, and you end up having Hicks. And the, take a look at Helsley, who looks like he is ready and available, looming there for the ninth inning. Helsley, before action last night, he threw 24 pitches in the ball game last night against the Brewers to nail that thing down. He had had four days of rest coming in so must have felt good today when we talked to Ollie before the game he was talking to us about his bullpen we asked about Helsley he said I'm gonna find out soon after he ends up throwing what his availability looks like the reports must have been good you like your chances when Helsley trots out of the bullpen we'll have the four five six hitters for L.A. and there's a Good approach for Donovan. He takes ball four. Only the second base runner Jackson has allowed. The L.A. bullpen is busy. If he encounters any more trouble, we might see Yancy Almonte. First, it's Oscar Mercado here, who's had a good night. Two hits, two runs, two steals. Cardinals have not been afraid to utilize the stolen base in this game. I've got him with three tonight. Let's see if they get creative with Donovan, who's two for two. Big hole right side for Oscar. Short lead at first. If you can guide that one or that one that way, I beg your pardon, you'd be in business. One ball, no strikes. Mercado part of a double steal for the Cardinals. That was in the fourth inning. First Cardinals steal of home since Carlos Beltran 10 years ago. Wow. That seems crazy to believe like even on a play like that right runners at first and third the steal double steal that that hasn't happened since then but a rare play certainly. Tied him up but no swing. Cardinals can win this game. It'll be their ninth in their last 11 play. They lead and need three outs. The pitch. Sharply hit. That's through. A three hit game for Mercado. Have yourself a night. Have not seen too many misses from Jackson. You have to think that he's starting to get a little tired here, but this is a miss. Middle 95 miles an hour. Oh, what a job it has been here from Jackson in this ball game, but the Cardinals finally put some pressure on him. Only the third base runner for St. Louis since the start of the fifth inning when this kid came into pitch. And the Dodger bullpen, as Brad has said, and I have said tonight, they've really been overworked because of injury and ineffectiveness by their starting staff. So this kid. Is really helped them set things up for the rest of the series and the start of what, as we've said as well, is the most difficult road trip to start the year. Uh, trying to talk it over right here, seeing if they can squeeze a little bit more out of Andre Jackson.
Because as you mentioned, the gauntlet that this Dodger team is going through, you got to be able to give these guys a refresh in the pen. So the meeting with Mark Pryor, a brief one. And Lars Newtbar is your hitter. Newtbar is 0 for 4. He's hit the ball in the air four times today. Ball one. Remember, Lars almost got Devin Williams the other day. This would be a sweet spot for him to launch one and maybe put it out of reach. Tried to and didn't get it. One ball, one strike. Cardinals two out of six with runners in scoring position. Their runs have come via the home run tonight. Goldschmidt would be next. See Lars Dupar there telling himself to just stay back. Got a couple of change ups there from Andre Jackson. Wants to stay back and drive one. Right under the Golden Bats and Crimson Birds. Two balls, two strikes. You're playing with fire if you do that. Well, you think 95 upstairs. Does Jackson go back to the changeup? Can Newt stay on it? Sharply hit throw. There's a base hit. Streaking around third, Donovan. Hayward's throw toward the plate is going to be late. And Newt Barr into second after the throw. Andre Jackson does go back to the changeup. Lars Newbar does stay back and drives it through the right side to add to the Cardinals lead. Give a little bit of cushion. Hayward, you know he's got a rocket for an arm in right field. He comes up throwing, but Donovan in there beforehand. Great jump. And a really nice at bat right there by Lars Newbar. Dave Roberts is going to tell Jackson you did one whale of a job young man and he did but a one out walk and back to back hits with the gas needle pinging toward empty means another call to the bullpen for the Dodgers and a little more breathing room for the Redbirds in the bottom of the eighth. Nancy Almonte answers the latest call to the bullpen for the Dodgers. That's presented by Chevrolet, and he'll run into Paul Goldschmidt with runners now second and third, one out, and now Brad a two run lead. They'll walk Goldschmidt intentionally and set up a double play. Well, Contreras. Don't need much to fire this guy up. He's already hit a three run homer tonight. No, but probably a wise idea there, right? You're playing the percentages, trying to get something on the ground, but Contreras is going to be ready for this. El Monte, hard throwing right hander. It's going to be fastball slider to the righties. But no place to put Contreras, and there's a good start to the sequence. One ball, no strikes. Ten runs on ten hits. The Cardinals have only left three men on base tonight. They've got three aboard here. That one gets away. That's going to score another run. Wild pitch and everybody moves up. Mercado scores for the third time tonight. Well, Oscar Mercado has had himself a day. Almonte comes in, tries to throw the perfect slider and just spikes it pulls it pulls it right across his body kicks too far away from Will Smith. The Cardinals now have a three run lead Contreras 
trying to make it five. Infield in with one out. There was a better slider. Fly ball right center. Well hit. It's carrying. It is gone. <laughs> Two three run home. For Contreras. Your Budweiser play of the game. This slider that catches the middle of the plate. And he said, forget making it a five run game. Forget the single. I got the home run opposite field showing off the power. Contreras has been fired up all game long. And the crowd here at Bush Stadium still on their feet. A curtain call. I think that Wilson Contreras is feeling right at home here at Bush Stadium. 13th career multi homer game. And let's not forget the other side of the ledger for Contreras. If the Cardinals hold on to this 14 8 lead after the curtain call, last three games he's caught, they're going to go 3 0. He said he came here to win. Well, Cardinals are doing that tonight thanks to six home runs, two of them by Contreras. And six RBIs. 14 to 8. Look at the line score on the scoreboard tonight. Just crooked numbers all over the place. The Cardinals with six in the third, three in the fourth, now the five spot here in the eighth inning. And so, as we had hoped, the Cardinals get some insurance with Hicks throwing 10 pitches or so. Helsley can sit down. You can rest him. Now, granted, he did warm up and was hot, but you figure he would be available tomorrow. Gallegos would be available tomorrow for the Cardinals. And so this 14 run outburst and the five run eighth sets us up not just for tonight, Brad, but for the next two, maybe three games of the series. It certainly does. Don't have to go to the well with some of your big guns as much here for another inning. Right back where it came from and out to second. And Arenado is retired. Two men are out. Jackson gave up three runs in this game, but deserved a much better fate. I mean, that kid pitched great for the Dodgers, but Almonte gives up the big home run and the big inning, too. Third career game with six or more RBIs for Contreras. May 11th, 2018 was the last time he had as many. Fourteen runs, eleven hits. For the Cardinals. And Alec Burleson, who checked in defensively for the Cardinals, gets a chance to swing the bat for the first time here. Hope nothing seriously wrong with Tommy Evan. That's the only downer in this game for the Cardinals. After a collision with Lars Newbar, he had some lower abdominal soreness and had to leave the game. St. Louis already an outfielder short with Dylan Carlson banged up with an ankle. And the inning continues as Yepes walks. Now Gorman. 
Two for four is Nolan tonight. These Cardinal hitters, even with a six run lead, you've seen how quickly things can go back. Nobody is giving in to an at bat. And everybody is just taking quality ABs, continue to grind it out. You know that's what Ollie, that's what his staff wants to see. But from a season that started out where the Cardinals could not win an opener, 0 and 11 in openers, got a chance to win four in a row here. And look, I don't know what the rules are, Brad. But I think if you get six home runs in a game, you're going to be in pretty good shape. I like, I, I think that should really be a game plan. You see Ollie talking to Hicks. Corman drives this one deep center. That one to the track and wall. Alvin leaps in. He can't get it. How seven? It's never failed me before. May 7th, 1940, the Cardinals hit seven home runs against the Dodgers at Sportsman's Park. Gorman has a two homer game. This is unbelievable. This is crazy. This is the Cardinals flexing. On the Dodgers, we talked about our, our key to the game. Our key to the game today was act as if, okay? Act as if you are the lead dog and everybody's chasing you. Carter's been playing great baseball here as of late. We know the record that the Dodgers came in with, but that's exactly what the Cardinals are doing. So you come chase us. 16 to 8. Let's save a couple for Steven Matz tomorrow. The 2 Squib slowly towards short. Barehand play, nicely done. And that will send us to the ninth. The Cardinals score seven in the eighth. They're frolicking. It's 16 to 8. Seven home runs for the Redbirds. Gorman got into a couple of them, as did Contreras. DeYoung gets on the, on the action. Nolan Arenado, he drives one out as well. I mean, what an entertaining ball game. The Dodgers punch back in, but the Cardinals counterpunch again. And what a year it's been for the young Nolan Gorman. Ollie Marmol, got to love what he's seeing as he looks on here in the ninth inning. So Hicks after his perfect eighth inning turns things over to Chris Stratton. He'll try to get the final three outs with an eight run lead. And as we said bigger picture Cardinals bullpen should be in real good shape to hopefully have a chance to save game two of the series tomorrow night. For sure Hicks should be good to go. You would think that Ryan Helsley will be uh, just fine got up in the pen but probably didn't get the opportunity to get too hot in this game. You think that another day's rest here. Giovanni Gallego so get an opportunity to be fresh tomorrow. Max Muncy leads off the ninth. He homered in the seventh. Talk about that from a relief pitcher standpoint. I don't think fans understand that as completely as I, I'm sure we wish they did. It's not just about appearances for a reliever, but the number of times you get up and warm up and maybe don't even get in the game. Yeah, it happens a lot, and teams are very cognizant of it. The once you get a guy up and get the punch out, 92 on the corner. Jeremy Rehack, hey, Rehack, home plate umpire, gives him that one. But you, you are. You're still getting hot. Like you're still getting warmed up. You're throwing all of your pitches and you're really airing it out. Now, some guys, it doesn't affect them as much. That's knowing your staff, too. And it's also very important as a reliever to know how to get ready and not just go full bore and throw too many pitches before you get into a ball game. Martinez pops the next pitch up right side. Goldschmidt, plenty of room for that. We're not out of way. Another big part of this game. Adam Wainwright makes another gigantic step forward to his goal of 200 or more wins. 
Well, Adam Wainwright in line here, one out away from win number 196 in his career. I thought Wayno settled in really well in this ball game. Rocky first inning, and they got the job done. Julio Urias' Rhodes woes continued in St. Louis tonight. He allowed six. The Cardinals have scored 16. And 36,982 remain at the ballpark, and they're all standing as one. Miguel Vargas, the last hope for L.A. as we push toward 10 o'clock. One more strike to get. Not a bad place to try. Two balls, two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. The Brewers are idle tonight. They start a series with Tampa Bay tomorrow. One more strike to get, and the Birds will be six out of first. The 2 2 is high, full count. Don't walk him. Fly ball, shallowly hit. New bar coming on. He's there. And that's your ball game. Cardinals thump the Dodgers. They hit seven home runs and double them up, Brad. 16 8 your final. Cardinals winners now of nine of their last 11. Adam Wainwright gets career win number 196. And all of a sudden, the Cardinals are hot, hot, hot. Let's keep rolling it into tomorrow. Those bats were golden indeed for the Cardinals. The Redbirds pound out 12 hits, and they win their 19th game of the year and take round one in this series against the Dodgers. Mats and Gonsolin hook up tomorrow night. A happy Cardinals postgame show is coming up after a 16-8 Redbird win.